My name is Jamie Neary. I am the Senior Technical Instructor for New Horizons Kingston in Ontario, Canada, and I'm also the Administrator for our network. Uh, I've been in IT for over 20 years now. I started back in the 90s and originally started off in uh, programming and working with applications before I uh, saw the light and moved over to the infrastructure side of the world. And security has really just kind of come along since then as well. And it's been interesting to see kind of the evolution of all of the different types of threats and attacks that have evolved over the years. Uh, back in the earlier days where it was really more just destructive and nuisance types of threats. Whereas now, when you're dealing with ransomware and you're dealing with business email, compromise, all kinds of financial motivations, uh, it's, it's really quite interesting. And for us, as a small to medium-sized business, uh, it's quite the challenge keeping up with all of the evolving threats that we deal with. And not only that, but also taking a look at the human element behind cybersecurity, because that's always going to be the weakest link in the chain, because we can throw up any number of different technological solutions, but we always have to make sure users remain educated, users get training uh, so that they don't fall victim to any number of different scams that are out there. The courses that I currently train on for EC Council include Certified Network Defender and Certified Ethical Hacker. Uh, I'm also certified in an earlier version of computer hacking forensics investigation, but haven't really been doing any training on that. For other vendors, I also do a lot of network administration, network security, and infrastructure type courses, along with web-based applications such as SharePoint, and obviously one of the big pushes lately is on cloud-based administration. I've chosen to teach the Certified Network Defender course because for me, I find it really addresses a, a very strong need in the market. Uh, back when CND first came to life, and I've been a pretty early adopter of the CND certification, uh, a lot of training and a lot of students going down the path of uh, cybersecurity in EC Council uh, started off with things like Certified Secure Computer User, CSCU, and then really just made the jump straight over to Certified Ethical Hacker, and there wasn't really a lot going on in between. So CND for me really kind of filled that void very nicely where you were able to really focus on the defensive aspects of protecting your network instead of just jumping into, okay, how do we go about circumventing all of these security mechanisms that are being put into place? And I find that the students who are attending the CND are a little bit more of the mindset of looking at protecting the network. Whereas with ethical hacking, uh, sometimes it's a little bit of a mixed bag when you take a look at the students, the ones who are in there trying to learn all these tips and tricks, uh, but really don't necessarily kind of embrace or adapt to all of the, let's say, fine tuning, if you will, of all of the network devices, the security, the protocols, and really the best practices that we need to implement in order to help kind of solidify our networks. I've been teaching CND for a few years now, and to be honest, it's really quite interesting when you take a look at the mix of students that I've uh, had the pleasure of training over the years. Everyone from people who are brand new to the environment looking to get in and starting a career with cybersecurity uh, to those people who have been working in an infrastructure based role and looking to kind of move up the ranks uh, all the way up to very seasoned administrators who are just looking at honing up their skills or trying to keep abreast of all of the new changes and the new technologies that are out there. Uh, and once again, I find once the, the typical student really does get in and kind of appreciate the role the defense does take in the network instead of what are all the tools that we can use to break things, well, how do we really want to solidify our environment to prevent that? And even the people who have been working at this for a while, they do come away from the training having learned some new features and of course gaining access to the tips, the tricks, the tools and the technologies to be able to go ahead and turn around and implement some of these solutions in their live environments. For me, I found the exam that goes with Certified Network Defender was fair. Uh, 
the hardest part of it is, in my mind, was just basically the sheer volume of information that's covered off in the course. There's a lot of stuff that we go through in a week. It's almost the equivalent of trying to drink through a fire hose sometime. Uh, but the exam itself was based off of the course materials. There were no real unexpected curveballs that they threw out at you. So the more you knew, the more you practiced, the easier it became. Some of the things that I like about the CND program, well, first of all, the fact that it's vendor neutral. I mean, in any given environment, you're likely going to go ahead and come across any number of different operating systems, any number of different applications, devices that are out there. So really avoiding that tunnel vision approach that you might get with some other providers and their training that they have in there is one of the key ones that I would mention. Uh, second thing, obviously, is going to be actually getting the hands-on with the tools. So for the CND course, having the opportunity to go ahead and run various labs in a nice, safe online environment where we don't have to worry about blowing stuff up and re-imaging and reinstalling uh, really gives you the, the chance to practice everything that you're going to be uh, expected to be able to do in real life. <laughs> And finally, one of the other key elements that I really enjoy about CND is it really gives you this kind of full 360 degree view of your overall environment. You're really going to take a look at all the different aspects where it comes to protecting your network. It's not all just about technology. It is also going to be looking at uh, policies. It's going to be taking a look at procedures. It's going to be taking a look at risk management and incident handling. Uh, so really kind of giving that overarching view of everything instead of let's throw technology, let's throw hardware, let's throw software at the problem and really kind of embracing all aspects that are required in order to help protect your network. C&D has benefited my career obviously as a trainer because one additional course that I am able to train in uh, but beyond that, it's just an additional set of skills and another part of the tool set that you bring whenever you are asked to deliver any seminars or presentations when it comes to cybersecurity training. Uh, not only that, though, it's also with the certification, it does provide verification of your skills. You've gone, you've passed the exam, you have something that will actually help you stand out and say, yes, I've done this, yes, I have proven my skills. Uh, now, obviously, you know, the more practice that you have, the more that you work with the tools and the utilities, the more well-rounded that you're going to become with that. If I were to compare CND against any number of other vendors, security solutions, or training, uh, one of the big pluses that I find with that is, of course, that it is vendor neutral. Uh, not every environment, as I mentioned, is going to be, you know, all one product, all one provider, all one single type of hardware. So it's nice to be able to get a well-rounded viewpoint of your entire network and the processes and the procedures it's going to take in order to go ahead and secure that. Advice I would give someone trying to prepare to write the Certified Network Defender exam. Uh, number one, of course, know your material. There's a lot of it. Yes, you will need to know a little bit about everything when you go to write the exam, uh, but it's not as bad as it seems. Uh, and hand in hand with that, practice. Practice with the tools, practice with the lab environment, go in there, play around with anything that you can to see how things work. The more you understand and the more that you can see and experience, uh, all of the tools, all the utilities, and all the practices that are going to be involved, the more it makes sense, the more it clicks when it's in there, and it really helps kind of uh, reinforce that theory uh, that you're going to get from the book. So practice, practice, practice. Study hard, and of course, good luck.